All right, all right, all right. Let's go, guys. We are finally going to launch into the iCast, your freaking awesome replays show. Um, let's let's do it. Let's, let's dive into this show, guys. And we are here. We are going to be casting these replays from last week. The challenge was cheeky bastard. You had to put down spray paint or dance in front of your opponent with at least a single unit before every engagement, uh, or every time you attack them anyway. Now, we're gonna be really relaxed on this one. If someone forgets to do it one engage in the midst of the chaos, that's totally fine. I don't care, because it's bloody hard to dance in front of every engagement, especially if you're not a high level player. So we're gonna be very forgiving with this one while we do cast it. For now, let's introduce the players. Down here at the bottom right hand side, in the red, it is S Chit. This player is a bit chit, but chit. <laughs> Good joke, pig. Yeah, if you're a fucking idiot. Um, up here in the top left-hand side, in the blue, it is Juicig. Oh, he's a bit of a juicy, juicy Protoss up here. Very juicy Protoss. Um, juicy, juicy, juicy again. Okay, we got it. Okay, I'm not sure how this plays into Cheeky Bastard. I guess, I guess, oh, right, we, we're just going to have some weirdness happening. Is this, is this guy cannon rushing? Is that what the, the forge is for? I don't know. We're about to see something weird. Anyway, guys, let's announce the topic for next week. The next week's topic is... You're a wizard, Harry. You're only allowed... You're only allowed... <laughs> you're only allowed to attack with spellcasters. Oh, the probes come out for the citizens' arrest. And, and they did a pretty bad effort at that, eh? That was like... That was like watching a bunch of mall security try to catch a dude on a skateboard. It was like... Okay, like... I, I don't know, man. Like, there's only so many, like overweight unfit people trying to catch like one of those like parkour fucking teenagers on a skateboard before it just starts looking ridiculous and this guy is just laughing his ass off he's like lol recorded it on my phone gonna put it on youtube fucking fucking mall cops i don't know he's gonna say some stuff along those lines meanwhile chit up here is like lol i've already got an expansion i'm taking two gases i don't have any probes to actually get mining from it i haven't even been probing my is he pretending he's afk is that is that what he's going for here and Juicing's like, I'm just gonna fucking build some pylons in your base. So both players here, and he's... <laughs> he's just recalled every single probe to the north side of the map. <laughs> Is Juicing about to, like, slow cannon rush an empty base? <laughs> Please. Please. Oh, make my day. Please make my day. He's building zealots. Oh my god, there's two cannons on one base. Oh my god. <laughs> He even builds a cannon in vision. Real, real cheeky there from Juicig. Oh my god. This is, this is appallingly amazing. This is what we were hoping for with every challenge ever. It's got nothing to do with the cheeky bastard challenge yet. I haven't even seen spray paint or dancing. I don't care. This is amazing. If, if you guys have a game this ridiculous, uh, send it in. Even if it doesn't fit the challenge at all, I guess. No, please don't. Please actually send in replays of the challenge. We get a lot of submissions recently that have nothing to do with the challenge, or they're like a few weeks late or something like that. So do keep up to date with the Twitch chat, guys. If you're watching on YouTube, sometimes the videos are delayed a bit, which is why people are like not, not kind of up to date on the challenge. Always check the Twitch channel for the up-to-date challenge. You can always just type exclamation mark icy fire in the chat, and that'll be good. But yeah, you're a wizard, Harry. Uh, disruptors are allowed. Info's in chat. Enjoy it. We're having a little discussion before, guys. While, while, while we're just kind of watching what is probably going to be the dumbest game ever. Ooh, double robo. Very nice. So these cannons still not in range of the Nexus. Nexus. Juice is just like, yeah. And a cannon your base. Yeah, man. I'm fucking badass. Is he, is he realized there's no probes here? I don't think so. I think let's let's go to Juicig's camera. I want to I go to Juicig's camera and just try to get in the mind here. Of, uh, of G-Sig and, and see when he it, it clicks. He's like, ha ha, cannon your two bases, ha ha. Has, still has no idea what's going on. Um, <laughs> Tammy has also gifted a sub to Imperfection. Thank you, Tammy. Much love, Imperfection. Welcome back into the fold. My beautiful, beautiful clan manager. Thank you very much. Um, a few people saying, I agree, Protoss is strong in the early game. Yeah, like I said, I, I, I agree as well. I, I feel like it's an early game thing, though. Like, so, like, you know, a lot of players are pretty shit at capitalizing on it, is, is my point. Even even at GM level, I'm like, yeah, these guys aren't really, aren't really using all those advantages they could, so it's fine. Um, <laughs> all right, yeah, yeah, that, okay, I thought there was some some other people whining in chat or yelling at me or something. I just, I just took a look. No, no, you guys are actually just being really friendly, happy Christmas people. Good. All right, nice. Um, yeah, I think we had a nice little discussion there. Ad hominem, thanks for being chill. I appreciate it. I appreciate it, mate. 
Yeah. I mean, I, I, I agree. I agree that, like, Protoss is a bit strong, but, you know, I think it's really easy to get frustrated with it. And, and definitely, if, 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 you're, if it's really getting to you, now is the time to take a break. You know, definitely. Like, there's nothing wrong with taking a break from StarCraft. And uh, pretty much any game I've loved, I've always gotten really frustrated with it at a certain point. Um... <laughs> Why didn't I win the game? So so just taking a break is, is probably the best thing I ever do from any game that I really love. I guess StarCraft I very rarely take breaks from, obviously, because it's kind of my job as well. Kind of my job? Well, it is my job. Um, but yeah, basically, it's 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 um, it's that situation. So Juicy right now is like, oh, why didn't I win the game? It's a little bit confused. It's like, I better go Dark Shrine, because why not? Meanwhile, fucking Mass Immortal here from Chit. Chit's like, lol, 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 lol. Fucking took this base, you dickhead! I, I still don't think we've seen any dancing or spray paint, but I'll I'll roll with it, guys. We we get some special submissions over here sometimes. Um, Chit actually has a larger economy despite it losing a base because all these cannons did friggin' nothing. They literally killed an empty nexus. The observer's gonna go in. He's gonna have a bit of a perv. Oh, don't go into the cannon! Oh, he's, he he knows he knows there's a cannon up there. And we got zealots and stalkers. No charge though. Charge and plus one on the way, but they're not quite done. Chit's like, lol, got up the ramp. Take my immortals, mate. Immortals just gonna fight here. The zealot's like, nah, fuck you. Oh, he's doing it. He's a cheeky bastard. Oh. <laughs> Best dance animation in the game. He's gonna move into... Okay, he's trying to do a bit of micro here. Oh, some nice stutter step too. Chit, you friggin' badass. He's gonna take out these zealots. Um, maybe microing a little bit too hard. I don't know, actually. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, oh shit, charge is almost ready. Charge lot's pretty good against immortals, guys. Uh-oh, charge is almost done. It's about to finish in like five seconds, but already most of the zealots are dead. This immortal at the front, he's gonna die. One immortal left there is Barry. Oh, he's gonna do another dance. Chit, you badass. And then he's like, oh shit, that's a DT. Oh, fuck. And oh, he's actually stutter stepping out of observer range, so he can't see it. He's gotta run back to the observer. He says, ah, there you are, you cheeky dickhead. Shoots that Dark Templar in the face. Blast him to a bunch of sparks. Apparently all Protoss turn into sparks when they die. Um, except for Stalkers, which just, like, some smoke goes up, which I guess is, like, the spirit of the, uh, the Nerezim in there or some shit. Ooh, Stalker does back out now. What do we got? What's, what's in the next wave? We got another Immortal. We got, an oh, okay, two more Immortals. More Immortals are on the way. Um, oh, and Juicig's like, I better expand as well, man. I'm gonna take your gold base. So we've got some high-level strategy here. Chit here abandoning the base, and Juicig deciding to invest a massive amount of resources in taking it out. Um, Chit may have had an opportunity to win the game just there, but decided to dance instead because, of course, Chit is a cheeky bastard. And, uh, true to, true to, you know, true to his name. Just, um, just kind of bit, bit cheeky, bit of a bastard. Doesn't quite win the game straight up. And with more zealots warping in, i got to say, this uh, might actually be pretty good for Juicing. DTs and zealots, pretty good units versus immortals, cost for cost. Uh, immortals don't really get any bonus damage versus them. None of them are armored. So this, this is... A pretty amazing game right now. I do like uh, Chit's commitment to the double immortal production. That always makes me happy. You know, you can you can usually tell when someone's off racing because they just like choose one unit and make far too much of it. Scarlet with oracles being a, a good example. Um, I mean, is it really too much if you win every game though? Eh, one's arguable. Oh, here we go. Is Chit gonna dance? No, no, no need to dance here. Just just fight, dude. I don't want you to throw the game that badly. There we go. Chit's going in. Oh, oh, don't dance when there's DTs and zealots on you. Oh, shit, you cheeky bastard. So this is that guy who just chooses the biggest dude in the bar, goes up to him, and then um, and then just, you know, gets his face kicked in because he's too busy talking shit. But actually, turns out, I guess, immortals are pretty buff. So maybe not. Maybe, okay, maybe, that, that, bad analogy. Chit is the, the buff dude at the bar who spends so much time talking shit he only just realizes the other guys like stabbed him a few times in the gut before he even realizes they're fighting. Um, he's a little bit intoxicated. He's he's still gonna dance his way to victory though. He's just that buff. He's he's bleeding a little bit on the floor, but he's like, lol, what are you gonna do, dickhead? I can dance it. Did they just shoot while dancing? I feel like they did. That was fucking crazy, man. Immortal's a badass unit here. Wait, do they shoot while dancing? Have I been missing that this whole time? I don't even know, man. Anyway, DT's going down, Zealot's going down, Immortal's are like, fuck you, mate. The Zealot's like, yeah, I'll stab you, dickhead. And they're like, lol, it's called a mortal barrier. It blocks all damage. Photon cannon's like, oh no. Gets wrecked. Juicing's building observers, because that's what you need, right? Oh, they can shoot while they're dancing. Oh my god, immortals are amazing. They're like the only unit that does that, aren't they? That's fucking badass, man. They're like shooting while dancing. What a bunch of blingy mother mother truckers, man. Oh my god. Alright, takes him out. 
Juicig's like, well, I don't know what the fuck happened in that game, but apparently I lost. Well done! It turns out SC hit is indeed the chit. And, uh, I hope you enjoy me mincing your name very, very, very badly. Guys, don't forget.